Hey Terraria enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity mod. I thought I would change up the intro and maybe catch some of you off guard. But welcome back. In yesterday's episode, we went into hard mode by taking down the wall of flesh. And it was a pretty impressive fight. Hopefully you didn't miss it. So in today's episode, well, we are making advancements for the character. And we're essentially just going to get ready for a boss fight. We're going to do a boss fight. We're going to get some new ore. We're going to get new armors and weapons. I absolutely love the start of hard mode. It's literally my favorite time. Get some of the mining out the way. Make it easy with mods. And oh, you've got a, a very good part of the game. So, I was interested to see a new potion that was apparently added in a recent patch of the Alchemist mod. So, I want to check it out. Let's see. So, these still say non-calamity buff potions. That's fine. I apologize, still. But there is something new. Apparently, there is now a potion. Yeah, this is it. Fills rage meter and causes heart attack. Inflicts heart ache debuff for five minutes non-calamity buff potion that's still really good i mean it's a non-calamity buff but it is for calamity so that does make it pretty cool so it means essentially you don't have to keep filling up your rage meter this makes me so happy and when i eventually go back and beat death mode supreme calamitous because it's been nerfed quite a bit especially with like some of the new weapons and stuff and like the new changing of armors and stuff i'll be using that potion because one of the things that took so long when trying to do my death mode runs was essentially just the fact that I couldn't uh, build up my rage meter quick enough. It was always so annoying. Right, let's get some herrings out there. We got some flying fish. So I think the first thing that we have to do is figure out where the world divides. So, hmm, I don't know where... I'm. Go oh, right, this has got to be hallowed, right? So we need some souls of light and we also need some souls of night. So let's go down. Because what we're going to be making is a cryo key. The cryo key is going to spawn cryogen. And then once we have defeated cryogen, we're going to get cryonic ore. It's a it's a nice little step. So what I'll do is I will sit around. Well, I walk around. Oh, an earth elemental. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Okay. Do we have the power to take down an earth elemental? We'll find out. He has got a fair bit of health. And I'm a, yeah, I was going to say I'm a little bit worried for when he starts doing his... Uh, his charge. I need to get out of here. I'm not wearing an obsidian shield, as you guys may have noticed. I've not actually been wearing cobalt and obsidian shields in my series for a few months now, and I've been I've been enjoying it. I mean, we got completely battered then, but I was going to get battered anyway. It's an earth elemental. It's all right. It doesn't drop anything that we need right now. So yeah, we need to get some souls of light, and I feel like once you've figured out hallowed, you might be able to figure out where corruption is. I'm guessing the hallowed split is there. It, like, it cuts through there. So I might need to go into my desert or below to get the souls of night. I'm not exactly sure how many you need, but I don't think it's too many. But yeah, I'm just going to linger around. And one sec, let me get my herons. I'm going to linger around grabbing uh, little crystals in case I ever need them. Because you can use them for bullets and stuff. And I don't think the NPCs sell them. So I may as well grab them while I'm here. I tell you what, though, we are weak today. Yesterday, we were coming off the uh, the potions, essentially, because we still had potions left over from the Wall of Flesh. And I feel like when I went into hard mode, I was feeling pretty good. Now, today, I'm feeling, like, uh, really rough. So, I don't know how strong we are. I guess it's not for long, though. Once you've got your Souls of Light, you're pretty much good from there. I tell you what, this is actually a really good spot to be in, because I need some Essence of Helium, and those drop from enemies in the Ice Biome, so... I'm getting both Souls of Light and Helium here. So I'm actually going to be releasing today's episode a little bit earlier than I usually do. And it's for a very important reason. So YouTube have had this bug and it's been going on for about a week, maybe a week and a half now. And it's really beginning to impact the channel. At first, it didn't really matter and I got over it. But essentially, they have this bug where if you have a privatized video, which are essentially all my videos are private before they go up because you, you upload them privately... You wait for them to turn 1080p because obviously it's a gaming video. People don't want to watch uh, a gaming video in 360p. They want to watch it in 1080p and they deserve that. So you upload it privately. You wait for it to turn 1080p and then you make it public. It's called publishing, right? And they've had this glitch where for some people it will say private. Maybe it will say private because they've clicked on it too fast. But maybe they can click on it half an hour later and it will still say the video is private. And it's really beginning to affect the channel because our views, 
it got worse over the past couple of days and the views have just dropped completely because people are coming to the video and thinking, oh, it's private, that's all right, I'll come back later. And then, I don't know, maybe forgetting or doing something else. And it's YouTube's, it's YouTube's issue and I've reached out to them and I've spoken to them and they're basically like, oh, maybe make it public again and then make it privatized again. And then that messes with subscriptions. So you can't do that essentially. So that's why it's a, bit, a little bit earlier. So if you're in a, the part of the, the world that it was a really good time for, I really apologize. Um, I, I guess at least you can just watch it when it's ready. So I've got my Souls of Light and I've also got my Helium and I've got some Ice Blocks. Now, I'm going to use a few Souls of Light to actually make something. What, what is this? Ancient Ice Chunk, 42 summon damage, summons an Ice Clasper to fight for you. If I get rid of my Herrings and I also activate this up here... How many can you have? Oh, I've got two of them. That's really cool. I mean, compared to the uh, herring stuff, that's quite an upgrade. Nice. I've never actually seen that before, so that's really cool. So I am going to use a few materials here to make myself a pretty valuable upgrade, especially if you're a YouTuber. So I'm going to make the daylight, right? The daylight. And every time I read that word, I think of the Childish Gambino song where it's like, I don't want to sing it because I, I just can't do that. Um, not sing. I, I can't sing. But I also can't sing the song Daylight because it's a very... I've got a very deep voice. We can all we can all be straight about that. It's a very high-pitched song. But it, remain, it reminds me of um, that viral video where it's like Kermit the Frog singing Daylight. And then just out of nowhere you hear Daylight like that. I love it. I absolutely love it. That was probably terrifying. That was, that was not a good impression, was it? <laughs> anyway, we've got a Daylight. It's now Daylight. I absolutely love that. And the thing I like about the daylight compared to the Cosmolite is the daylight makes it actually daylight. If you have a Cosmolite, it sets it to half past four in the morning and that's not bright enough. I like it to be a little bit brighter. So I'm pretty pumped I've made the daylight. So we're going under the desert. We're going to see if my theory is correct. I'm going to see if this is uh, for the souls of night. Let's see, do these give any souls of night? You guys, it would be perfect if you did. Because they're corruption enemies. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, this out, this will actually work really well, I imagine. So, it's not all like um, just getting this stuff and then we'll get to do cryogen. We've actually got to get like uh, some more ore, essentially. Because I've got to farm out for adamantite. Because I don't want to do it with uh, with Statagel, which is the one that we've got now. Because I feel like that would be a little bit silly. But what we'll do is we'll farm out for uh, for adamantite. So I'll do that off camera because, you know, it takes a little while. And then we've also got to get some wings. So the plan is we're going to go up to one of our floating islands that we've got, one of the planetoids, and go and kill some wyverns or some wyverns. And it makes me uh, <laughs> it makes me reminiscent of a comment that we got when we were adding planetoids from uh, from Paper Lure, which I'm, I imagine is short for Laura. I don't know. Um... But she was saying in the comment section about how she built a base in the planetoids and then once they got the hard mode, they completely started to uh, to wreck her. So that's why I avoided building in it all this time because uh, yeah, that comment really cracked me up and I, I took that warning there. Alright, I actually think that is enough. There is another one down here though, so I will grab it. So, I'm all filled with adamantite. At least I've got a bunch of it. So I want to see if I can actually make a full set. Now... I don't usually like using vanilla armors in a modded series. It's just that I don't exactly know what I'm meant to do next. Because I know that once you've defeated Cryogen, you unlock all the ore and you can make all that kind of armor. So I guess in a way, we're not using it for too long. So I feel like we'll be alright. Right. Adamantite. Let's see. We will make some more bars. So I currently have 69 bars <laughs> and we'll make a chest piece, we'll make some leggings and then I guess I don't exactly know what weapon I'm going to use if I'm being completely honest. Let's actually have a look at our filtered weapons. Let's see if there's anything here that we might not have used or anything like that. Huh. I tell you what, they don't give you much, um, much room to like see. They only give you one layer at a time. That's kind of annoying. I don't know why that's happening actually. Is it my UI? Do I need to decrease the UI a little bit? Let's see, does that help? Oh, I'm, I'm in camera mode. Oh, okay, that helps. Right, let's check. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what to go with. I kind of like the archer fish, but I don't know if you can actually defeat Cryogen with the archer fish. I might give it a go, just to see what it's like. So we'll make the, uh, the ranger helmet, just like that. 
and then we'll swap all of this over. So we've gone up to 47 defense. So this is doing 38. If I swap this back, it's doing 36. So it's not really that much of an upgrade. I guess the only thing that we've really upgraded is your like the defense of the character. So let's put this away. Let's zoom it back on in. And I've got to increase that UI. It feels strange to have small UI now. And we'll give that a little bit of a zoom out there. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll go and kill a wyvern. I don't feel like it's going to be too much of a problem. I'm not going to lie. So let's get a grav. Let's also get a zerg. Do we get zergs yet? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Right. So I don't know how high I need to be to get a wyvern in this world. Maybe that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think that answers it pretty well. All right, I don't know what... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. There are so many enemies. Okay, calm it down. Calm it down. Can you please get out of here, enemies? You're going to get me killed. Wow. I can't really... Yeah, I can't really do much because of my obsidian shield that I don't have. So, hey, I actually made a big mistake, so I'm going to explain it now. So, I was recording this episode to the wrong hard drive. So, essentially, I only got to record half of my episode and half of the other footage. Well, it just disappeared. So, I'm re-recording it, and I'll tell you all about what I did. Essentially, I made some new stuff for my character. I made an adamantite helmet. I don't know if you guys saw that. This one's for mana. I also made some ice wings. I made a amalgamated brain. I equipped the sorcer sorcerer's emblem, and I was using this mana overloader, but I've noticed a little bit of a, an annoyance in it. If I start walking around, or is it going to do it this time? It's poisoning me. It's really annoying. So I'm just going to equip this uh, menacing crown jewel. But what I did was I tried to defeat Cryogen, but I, I wasn't getting anywhere with it. Essentially because it, like, it had so much defense and stuff. Now, usually, Cryogen is fought with cryonic armor, but you can no longer do that anymore, so the balancing is all changed. So, I am going to take a bunch of buffs, and we're going to do it again. And I, I feel like we'll be fine. I feel like this is going to be good. And I wanted to bring you guys along for it, to show you exactly what it's like. It genuinely wasn't too bad, though. The only thing is, I will say this, it starts to teleport eventually, and the teleporting... Like, that's what gets you. Towards the end, it has this thing where it says it's, uh, like, derping out, I think. I think that's the word it uses. Um, and after it starts doing that, it gets really crazy. Okay, this is going well. Get through that shield. So this is its main attacks for now. So one of the things I really want to try and do is build up to get some adrenaline. So I'm just trying to stay off a little bit. Oh, 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 it's these little flying enemies that... Oh, snap. Okay, I was going to say, it's these little flying enemies that get you. So you have to defeat the shield. Then you get a chance to do some uh, some damage. Just like this. And it genuinely goes on for a really long time. So what I was doing in my original fight is I was like just being quiet at certain points in it. Oh, man. So I was hanging out with Python today. This is kind of a mad story. This... This never happens to me. This always used to happen to a, a friend of mine in school, but it happened to Python today. So I was hanging out with Python today, and he was waiting for a delivery. Now, he was getting delivered the new Call of Duty. Like, this is kind of crazy. So he managed to get the new Call of Duty a day early, and he got to play it a day early. Like, that never happens to me. But uh, I think tomorrow I might make a video about the new Call of Duty because I'm a massive Zombies fan. I don't know if I've ever uh, made that fully clear. But there's so many new stuff that's coming out for it, and uh, and it looks really fun. So I might try and make a video about it tomorrow and just see if we can mix things up a little bit. So if you do see it, don't be alarmed. Oh my god, this fight goes on for ages. Right, I feel like it's definitely time for one of those silent moments now. Alright, so we're getting somewhat close to the end. This is the phase where it starts to, uh, to go a little crazy. That's why I'm using my adrenaline here. Let's see if I can get this done. This is where I died last time because I wasn't expecting it to go, um, yeah, loopy, essentially. Right. Make sure I avoid it. Got to think about how it's moving, essentially, to, uh, to really get this going. Okay. It's this shield part here that really, like, taxes me. That bit there. Okay, this is going strong, but it could, it could go worse. Oh, I'm going to take some of these. Some of these potions. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this going. God, it's quick. 
it really is quick. I feel like I'm dodging it so well, and I feel like I'm, uh, I'm messing it up now. Okay. Let's see. Okay, rage is activated. Oh, and I lost the rage because I got hit. Oh, no. Okay, I managed to avoid that. Oh, no, no. Come on. Give me some kind of heal. Give me some kind of buff. Okay, four seconds left on the heal. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, right. This is going well. That's what I need to convince myself. This is going dreadfully. Like, it's going really dreadfully. Oh, I had 5.5% left. Oh, that is heartbreaking. So, I think in tomorrow's episode, guys, we'll be coming back to this one. This one really got me good today. Really did. I apologize for losing all that footage, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Oh, but that's it. Right. I hope you all had a fantastic day, everyone. It was nice to hang out with you all. I'll see you all tomorrow for the next episode. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Peace.